Thank you for taking time out of your day to learn about how to install the virtual agent and the web interface on the com server. So I, I assume, uh, I'll assume that some of you have already watched my videos on how to install com serve, how to get it from the internet, uh, how to download it, etc. And I won't waste your time by going over that. Uh, I'll just follow up. This one will start with uh, the installation portion and um, the what to what to click on right when you when you want to get those different types of features that we're going after obviously we want to get the com serve we want to get the um, web console and then the uh, com cell console we also want to capture the uh, web server and workflow as we're looking for that and then also the uh, virtual server agent is what we're after and followed up by the resource pack and once you have all that it's pretty much um, if you watch my other videos it's next 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 and put a couple things in um, and uh, we're gonna pick up our next video our next portion of this is when you log in and I'm assuming you've already installed everything hello everyone now that we've installed Commvault I'm gonna start by logging into it First, let's make sure it's turned on. That's when you go to the process manager. And you can tell by uh, the process manager that most things are turned off. So for this one, we're going to turn it on, turn them, turn them on, restart them rather. And then we're going to check, um, we're going to check and see if our, let's do it another way. We're going to check to see Let's type this here real quick. We're going to see if that's uh, if it's enabled. Yeah, um, looks like it was enabled. It was set to automatic. Let's change this guy. We'll set him to automatic as well. Okay, looks like all services are up and running. We're going to um, now log in. And close that if you want. Log into our com serve. Okay, so now we're going to log into the uh, com serve here. Probably one of the first things you're going to want to do when you when you bring up your com serve is you're going to want to add a um, um, domain to it, right? So we're going to do that real quick here. Capture this. And since I already have a uh, domain admin account, I'm going to use that. Kind of tricky, uh, and then enable SSO. Yes. Uh, what you want to do in this right here? Well, there's no. It hasn't been propagated yet because you haven't logged in. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna actually add that user when we log in to the master group. We have to log in as um, we have to log. Try to first log in as SSO for me uh, mesh text, and then we have to log in uh, back in as admin because it's going to fail here. So it, you're going to see it fail, probably. But no, it will fail. Yeah, yeah. So to remedy this, log in as admin. Because I'm logged in as a um, 
I'm logged in as this user here on my domain. So, um, yeah, logged in. And to fix, th to be able to log in as um, SSO, single sign on rather, you can add to this user here. You want to, let's see. Right click on um, user groups, go to master, go to users, and then add that user that you've just created or logged in as rather to that group. And you can see him in there now. So now when we close this, we go back into the application, the Convault application, excuse me here, single sign on will work this time. And once you're logged in um, as a single sign-on, you just you know that's 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 what you want, right? That's exactly what you want. A couple different things you can do with with Commvault. Um, in this instance, what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, we're going to add a uh, since we've installed a virtual agent on this, we're going to install a virtual uh, the vCenter. So I, th I have to go in and actually start my vCenter. My vCenter is not turned on. So I'm going to um, pause the video and come back to that. Okay, so when I left off, I didn't yet have my com, or I'm sorry, my vCenter wasn't turned on. I've turned it on now, and um, so I'm going to add it here. Basically, I want to essentially I want to back up all my my VMs, so my vCenter knows all about my host and my VMs. So that's what I'm going to add here, right? Uh, and I did it a little differently since I'm this is a VM itself that I'm talking to you on. This comp server is a v, uh, VM. Um, the IP addresses are different, so I've had to actually create another interface on this uh, this VM to point that it can see my hosts and it can see my vCenter so that's why it looks a little differently uh, why I have to put an IP address here let's see and you can add um, your client groups you can we'll go into this later but I'm just gonna add it to say media agents it can be any any anything really and how you verify it's all working is click on properties you're going to click on uh, content and then you're going to preview so it's going to give you a list of all everything the vCenter sees all the VMs the vCenter sees and you know you can go ahead and back them up as you like you can add the filter you know whatever you want to do you can filter them you can create um, different jobs security uh, your storage device I don't have anything uh, set up yet I don't have a uh, storage um, interface set up yet so I'm gonna omit that one and um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna gonna show you how to install a client on a uh, Linux machine and so that you'll you know once we set up the the client you'll be able to see it here um, or I may just do another video on that I'll probably do another video on that actually yeah this one is just just for the comm serve we'll just tackle that right now what else can you tell you about the comm serve next thing you want to do um, since we have the vCenter connected and you can see those VMs we're going to look at the web uh, web web console uh, so I've already installed the web web interface so I'm just going to click on uh, under home then web console and this is going to pull up your information about your comm serve why is this useful 
whenever you have large of in, a lot of individuals uh, accessing the comm serve, they need a report, they need whatever. What what this is is a representation like a like a website representation of the comm serve. Um, so they can, you know, if they're in a meeting, they can pull on their data. Maybe they pull the reports or whatever. And as you can see, well, let's for instance look on uh, my data. I don't have anything backed up, so it's probably gonna, it's not gonna yield anything. You know, yep, not gonna yield anything. And my virtual machines, I don't know if it'll have anything here or not. I don't think so. No, no, won't, sure won't. And you know your reports you know if you want to you click on reports or create custom reports you know if you're a, a user uh, end user need to, again need to present a report to a team or whatever you click uh, custom reports and it would be from there in a later video I'm going to dive more into this so you can actually see what's what's going on and you'll notice that I'm logged in as admin so in order to get the vCenter to work I had to log in as a local account so that's why you see it otherwise you'd see the meshed the uh, domain account there. Okay, uh, well, this concludes the video on um, installing ComServe as a virtual agent and installing the web web interface. In future videos, we're going to focus on uh, installing the client on a Linux box, uh, installing um, SQL, uh, backing up a SQL. Um, we're going to focus on installing Linux on a media agent as a media agent rather and we're going to focus on installing Oracle uh, and backing up Oracle. Thank you very much for you viewing this video and